Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how you can customize the email template in Keyclock. If you are interested in this topic, please stay with me until end of this video. So let's get started. First of all, you would need to uh, define the, the package of the email template. So after you extract the package of the theme in the key clock, then definitely you will find the, the several folders like the, as a base key clock and key clock version two uh, and so on. So basically the email template is located in the, the base one, which is a complete and mature. If you don't know how you can find the, uh, the template, uh, the theme package of the key clock in the server please watch my another video about the key clock theme I explained all the details in that video I will drop that video below of the, this tutorial then uh, you will find it uh, very easily so please watch that video because I explained all the details uh, as I said the the basic one it's uh, uh, complete for the email and when you go to the email you will find uh, some folders as a HTML message text and theme so each one of them has uh, the specific uh, the function for instance when you go to the HTML you will find the several uh, files which each one of them related to a specific action of the key clock like a confirmation verification login remove and so on so uh, for a specific item definitely you need to work on that package or we can say about that template and customize that template in this video for the purpose of the demo i'm working on the email test and uh, others it's similar but if you really need uh, a specific item please let me know I will make the video for that item as well so let's get started go to the email test and to see what's included uh, so let me check if I can um, find that file yeah uh, in the email test as you observe here there is the some uh, specification uh, some a definition which is import the template.ftl so if you look at uh, the other template there is the one template.ftl but i made another one for myself because i wanted just uh, uh, to have the customized one so i add a one s as a template and uh, configure it and also add uh, some customization part inside of that but here in the email test is uh, importing this file uh, so as a template.ftl so this is this is the one step the second step is you need to customize this template.ftl so if you look at this template.ftl let's see what is that it's very simple as uh, one html and there is the some uh, macro so you would need to copy this uh, or you can you can customize this part okay just you need to uh, have the this format and just change the HTML part of that so what I have done is uh, I changed the some message in the, the template of the email and also I added one logo as you observe here, I did exactly uh, the same template, just only for from this part, I add some more items. For example, I add the, uh, for the, the, the character set UTF, the, what is that the set the email template as a title, and in the body part of that, I add the one uh, reference for logo. Uh, for this case, I dropped the one 
URL from the Google Drive. First, I uh, upload the my logo in the Google Drive and I capture the one link from that Google Drive and then I dropped it here. You can also uh, upload in other server and drop the link of the that server here. It's uh, not mandatory to be Google Drive on whatever uh, or a specific server. So you can you can do your server and uh, then uh, just only yeah like this this kind of the the format for the HTML part. Then another part of the this template is related to the messages, which is related to content of that. If you want to define something uh, to to mention as a content of the email, you would need to go to the message part. So as you can see, you can see here, there is another file which call it as a message. And when you go to the message, you will find the several languages which Keycloak support the different languages. So for my case, I'm focusing on the message as English. So I will show you uh, the, the item which I configured. When you open the, the message for in these cases as an English version of that, you will find the different type uh, of the, the message uh, for the verification uh, subject and so on. For my case, as I said, for purpose of the this demo, I use the email test. So just I work on the email test body. Uh, this part of the email test is for the when you are using as a plain text. So you can uh, just configure this part. But what I did, it's because I'm using the HTML part. Just I changed that this part as a uh, this is a message from IoT Station Channel for the YouTube test. Uh, just I changed this part, and you can see when I am triggering some email this message will be passed and send it to the to the email as a content of today's email uh, so for different actions definitely you need to work on that one and change the message of the dead uh, action as you can see here so many uh, actions are available and you just need to uh, change and customize this part of the message. After you customize your all the, the packages, just you need to drop that folder of the email with all the relevant information, as I, you can see here, HTML message and so on. Then uh, drop beside the other uh, packages for like account, admin, common, and so on. And also you would need to uh, change the key clock theme as a JSON part. So you would need to add the, the email in that file uh, for the type of the package. After that, you, you are coming to the the first page and you are you you need to pack it as i said again i explained all this process in the that video you can check that video can to to see all the details so then you have the one package here you need to copy this package and paste in the uh, server of your key clock. Here in your server of the key clock in providers, you will drop that package here. And after you dropped here, you need to update your server. And after the update, you need to uh, the, the, uh, up and running the server again. So just uh, let me to upgrade. Now the server is running. You just need to 
Casey did bad. Not that one to build this uh, command will update the package of the keycloak which you already dropped in the the server of the keycloak and after several seconds it will update and then you need to open running the server to uh, run the keycloak server and after that it will be uh, configured as a one template of the, the email and then you would need to select the template to be activated in your server okay okay now the server is running just sign in to the server and uh, you would need to uh, come to the theme part and for my case here you can see already I selected the, the custom theme for my case so I don't need to do it again but uh, for your case definitely you need to come here and select and save it after you save then this configuration part already I explained and just you need to uh, the trigger for the test connection and yes the success SMTP connection successful and it will send the one uh, email to you and uh, let's jump to that part yeah as you can see here there is the one email and when you open this email you will see exactly that message which I uh, wrote in the message part here and this is the signature as a logo which you drop as an external link in your uh, template. Thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed from this tutorial, please don't forget to like this uh, tutorial. And if you didn't subscribe my channel, please do subscribe. And thank you. See you in next one.